What do you think of when you hear the phrase freedom of speech? For many Americans, freedom of speech is something that we learned about in civics class. We learned that the First Amendment to the U.S. Constitution protects the freedom of speech by prohibiting the government from telling us what to say or what not to say. But for me, it's far more personal. I've spent more than three years of my life seeking to uphold this freedom because the City of Louisville Ordinance threatened to take it away. My name is Chelsea Nelson. I own Chelsea Nelson Photography, a photography studio in Louisville, Kentucky, specializing in custom wedding photography, blogging, and boutique photo editing for other wedding photographers across the country. At a wedding, there are so many public moments to capture. The bride's procession towards the altar, the exchanges of vows, the couple's first kiss as newlyweds, but there are also hidden gems, like the bride's mother quietly fastening her daughter's dress or the jubilation on the groom's face when he sees his bride during their private first look. Capturing those spontaneous emotions in a permanent image is the kind of thing families cherish for years to come. And my hope, as I share on my website, is to give that gift to others. Beautiful images that will represent special memories, become family heirlooms, and tell the story of each legacy represented, because it matters. I love to tell stories through my art. I start by getting to know each couple I photograph. I often invite them into my home to hear about them and their dreams over a warm batch of cookies. I want them to feel comfortable with me. After all, they probably spend more time with me than anyone else on their wedding day. This background helps me to create one-of-a-kind photographs and write unique blog posts that celebrate their covenant. That's why I create, to celebrate God's design for marriage and the special union of one man to one woman. And while I work with everyone, regardless of who they are, I always pay attention to the messages that my artwork communicates. For me, it's all about what a photograph communicates, not who asks for it. And like most photographers, there are some messages that I cannot express no matter who requests them. The First Amendment guarantees my freedom to choose which events and ideas to celebrate and promote. And I make those choices based on my artistic judgments and personal beliefs. That's what free speech means. It means the government can't stop you from speaking or force you to speak a message you don't agree with. Despite that, a Louisville ordinance threatened to force me to create photographs and write blog posts supporting a view of marriage I don't believe in. The law required me to become a spokesperson for the government's currently favored view of marriage rather than my own biblically formed views. And if I didn't? I faced investigations, thousands of dollars in damages, and court orders requiring me to create photographs and write blog posts that contradict my beliefs. It's hard to get into a creative mindset, run a business, and be an entrepreneur with these unjust threats hanging over your head. This government coercion should frighten all of us, regardless of our beliefs on marriage or any other topic. Every artist has the right to decide what we do and do not create. Because my conscience is bound by my beliefs in the Bible, I prayerfully decided to walk in the footsteps of other courageous civil rights defenders and challenge Louisville's unjust law. With the help of Alliance Defending Freedom, I filed a lawsuit. After almost three years of litigation, the court ruled in my favor in 2022. The court said that Louisville violated the First Amendment by interpreting its law to force me to say something that I don't believe and that betrays my convictions. This was a victory, not just for my freedoms, but for yours and for all Americans. I love that the court said, the freedom of speech, especially for minority views, is a core promise of our democratic republic. I want all artists to be able to express their sincere and cherished beliefs. I want photographers in the LGBT community to have the same freedom as me, regardless of whether we share the same beliefs. I didn't leave my free speech behind when I chose to create art for a living. Thanks to the court's ruling in my case, I'm now free to create photographs and blog consistent with my convictions. At least for now, Louisville has appealed this decision. I'm hopeful that the appeals court will agree that the First Amendment protects my freedom of speech. Sadly, not everyone has that freedom in America today. In 2023, the U.S. Supreme Court 
is poised to rule on a similar case, 303 Creative versus Elenis. In that case, my fellow artist, Lori Smith, who owns 303 Creative, is asking the court to uphold what it has already affirmed as true and just. That free speech is essential to a free country and benefits everyone. Regardless of whether you agree with my beliefs or not, whether the government likes your beliefs or not, whether your beliefs happen to be popular or not, the freedom to create consistent with those beliefs is worthy of protecting and something we all hold dear. It's what makes America so unique and robust, and it's the freedom I want to make sure the next generation, my children and their peers, has the opportunity to cherish as well. Learn more about these cases at adflegal.org. You can also find more videos like this at adflegal.org slash freedom matters. Before you leave, you can like this video and subscribe to this channel to make sure you never miss another episode.